Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Final Fantasy IV. We are in the Lunar Ruins, which is all post-game. We just finished uh, Yang's uh, trial. Now we're going to get back out of here. Wow, it's a long walk. And we're going to cover Edwards, one of my least favorite characters in the game. He's one step away from useless. Alright, so here, you can use a cottage here, and you can actually warp out of the dungeon there. We're not going to do that. We're going to go behind it, and we're going to go down the next stairs. Now, between here and the actual trial, there is, I think it's six floors. Uh, another three of, uh, when you, where you'll take on another three of five floors. These are random. So, I won't know which one we're in until we're in it. So, moving forward. Alright, Floor of Remembrance. This looks like this one heads south and cross. Alright, we got some new bad guys. Sahagin Prince, Amoeba, and whatever that was that I didn't even get to see because we wiped it off the face of the planet before we had a chance to hit it. All right, moving on. Okay. Should go this way to another bridge. Did we cross the bridge? Let's descend the stairs to the east. Move north past the fork and go up the stairs. That's a lot of words. Uh, we're probably going to cross the bridge. Okay, we got a crystal dragon, a coral, Regina, and a... Togger? It's like an ogre but a toad? Is that is that what we're saying here? Togger? Oh, wow. I don't like this guy. He petrified Yang. I mean, he keeps trying to petrify Yang after he's petrified Yang, which is funny, but... Does that not work? Okay, that was problematic. Oh, I didn't like that guy. Okay. Assume it didn't work. Okay, so we got a cottage. Go back into the water. All right, that was three Sahagin princes, a something shell, and a amoeba? Okay. Where are we going here? Alright, so this staircase here. Cross the bridge. Got an axe potion. Go back down. Come on. And then we go up here. Alright, so where are we now? Okay, so this is a good one. Uh, this is a very easy one. This is a really good place to... Hear, hear, or heal everyone because we're going to get our magic back. I'm not really sure where the exit is. I don't think there's any treasure in here. I doubt there is. There is. What did we just get? A remedy, maybe? <laughs> I don't know if I got everything or what like the remedy in here a phoenix down um
Okay, that was a remedy. Maybe I got a phoenix down at the top. Okay. Once you have both of those, go south, move south when you see a slight opening. We take it. I got a Gissel whistle, which is a it's a whistle that calls in chocobo. Northernmost part of the area, then walk east. So I got a hog call. This sword will turn your enemies into a pig. What? It's weak as hell, but it turns people into pigs. That sounds interesting. So we're missing a phoenix down. Um, Hold on. It says in this dead end here, oh, I found it, okay. Hush. After you get those ready, head east from the southern grass and then walk northeast. Head east from the southern grassy. I assume it's right here. All right. Okay. Okay, so which one is this? Not really sure which one of that was, but that was pretty easy to find the uh, treasure. So we're going to go ahead and move forward to his actual trial. Damasian Castle. I didn't receive what it read because I was too busy looking at the thing. Sorry. What is going on? <sighs> Edwards? Oh, the voice was coming from somewhere over there. This, this is Requiem Harp. So we got the Requiem followed by a battle with an apparition. Whoa, help. Okay, so this one I'm going to turn off auto because you have to kill him. There's a trick to killing these guys. I Why? I don't know. So once he comes back, you need this is endless. Okay, so it's showing as a cutscene. Got it. I'm not in control, guys. Wait. My soul has been released. Okay, so you have to use the harp. All right. I'm cold. So we kill him. And then as soon as we kill them, we hit him with a bard song. And that should finish it. All right. 
Actually, I want to see if that one that we picked up is better than the one he has. Yeah, I'd say so. Help me. All right. We're going to be doing apparition cleaning. So, if anything's... Okay. This is kind of confusing, but okay. So I'm getting a lot of Phoenix Downs from these, as you see. All right, so I'm so very cold. I'm not watching this. Sorry. So I'm going to test something. Um, I'm a little curious if... Because um, Yang already hits it with... His damage is 9,999. So if it triples it, does that mean he's going to hit at 20,000 20, something? Is that correct? Am I understanding that? Okay, so there should be some urns in here if you need life or magic or whatever. Okay. All right. Did we get them all? There should be one here too. All right. There might be one more up here. There is not. So once you get all the ones up here, head back to the first floor. Oh, I saw him. It's another apparition. The air. I feel cold air coming from somewhere. Over here. I didn't push the button. He did that automatically. All right, now we're underground. So um, I tested it out. The move is no longer called focus. It's called deadly. Um, but because I already hit with 9,999, it doesn't do anything different. Okay, so this area is going to suck because I think there's five apparitions. Head east from the entrance and there should be one. I'm cold! Alright. Oh, his trial is so boring. Okay, so that's number one. Here's number two. Help! All right. Got to go through the wall. Here's number three. All right. <clears throat> Let's go look for number four. That was number three. No, don't go that way. Just follow the path. There's number four. Yes. Yeah. All right, that's number four. Let's go get number five. So cross the bridge, go east. Don't mind that hammering. It's just my fiance hammering stuff. It must die. Ah, there it is. And all right. Okay, so it says go back to the fork, which was... Oh, we're going to those stairs. I see. I see. All right. Equip something other than Rec Room Heart before continuing, or Edward will go into the next battle weaponless. Good to know. Wait. Did I not equip it? I thought I equipped it. Apparently I didn't. You don't want to equip it. Um, it also tells you that this is probably a good fight to slow down your battle speed. So we're going to go to four um, and continue forward. So just like how I think Edward is useless, this this trial has been useless. The Requiem harp, harp is broken. There are still some alive, I see. That will not do. Enjoy your icy grave. So dramatic. All right, so we have Luna Shiva. She has a 
hundred thousand lives. Is that right? One, two, three, four. No, ten thousand lives. Yeah, ten thousand lives. That's much different than a hundred thousand. Um. So with this fight, you want to cast haste on Yang. Uh, Rydia, and then Rydia, and then everyone else. Followed by having her use Karaja every round. You, Yang, have Yang use a deadly ability, and Rydia summon Ashura every round. Use Elixirs and Flyraga when Ashura isn't needed, and have both Cecil and Edward on item duty. Use Elixirs and Phoenix Downs when necessary. If they're not needed, then have them attack normally. You may ha not have many free rounds, as her Ice Storm ability can easily kill most of the party. If you do, or, or fill in combat, you have Cecil attack normally, have ready to use Fyraga every round. And in addition to Yang's deadly, feel free to use Summon Book LT if you if needed, and if you're struggling. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and have Cecil attack normal, use Fyraga, and Yang use his, his uh, well, it's, it's not as deadly, but you get what I'm saying. All right, so we'll just attack normal here, because we are stronger than we should be. Don't forget that. He has to, she has 10,000 life. We're going to wipe her quickly. Yeah, it's not 10,000 because that's 10,000 there. It is 10,000. Oh, and her ice storm heals. <laughs> well, this became an easy fight. And... I don't think she can hurt us. I'm going to put it on auto. She can't hurt us. Her ice ability heals us. Because I have the curse rings on. Getting This is one of the few games where going out of your way to get everything really, really benefits you. Usually, I don't feel like it does. Um, you get nice stuff, but it's never this powerful. Like... An armor that stops them from hurting you and turns every magical element into heal. That's almost that's that's game breaking. You could beat any game with that kind of ability. We're gonna walk out of this fight with more life than we had. Okay, that's it. Um, so we get a couple things from beating her. Uh, we get the summon book, Luna. Shiva, which is cool. It, it, it's her. Um, it's over. Although this may not be our world, I've managed to save the Masian. Thank you. Okay, so it turns into something that's actually pretty good for Edward. The problem is, for me is we will not see Edward again in this game. So rest in peace. But what this does, on to the next. Yeah, okay. So with this, Edward increases the power of bards, uh, which means he now has an ability. Is it an ability? Uh, he, has an, he has an ability called Chant, which... Wow, that's really good. It casts Protect and Shell on all ally allies when equipped. Automatic. Would have been great during the game. Made him actually useful. Um, so we're done here. Um, if you come back after you get the uh, book, you won't get a book. You'll get a gold hourglass. Um, I forget what they do. Do I have one? I might have one. I don't, but I can probably look it up really, really quickly. Um, gold Hourglass Final Fantasy IV. What does it do? It, it can cast stop for a long period of time. <coughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I don't care about that. That sounds like something I would never use, to be completely honest. So uh, next time when you guys come back... The party will change. It'll be Yang, Rosa, Cecil, Rydia, and Edge. No more. Um, so until then, adios amigos.